What's up, everyone? Flashcraft. And, oh, look at, look at how ridiculous I look. Diamond armor, really? Yeah. Yeah. See, while I was uh, away, I died. And actually, I meant to take this off to hide my shame, to hide the embarrassment here. But you know what? Here it is. It's happened, and so there's no, there's no way around it. Okay, but I was... I was starting this video here for a reason. I finished the stables. That's right. Or should I say LexCorp uh, has so graciously finished the stables. And behind me, as promised, is uh, the uh, the GLUE factory. There's a sign back there that you can kind of kind of see. Oh, gosh. I, actually, you can't really see it all that well. But it's it's in there. It's in there for the, for the sharp-eyed amongst the Flashcraft server. But you remember Glue from last video? Yeah, Glue is here. And he will live here forever where, uh, where that factory is, where... You know, it's Glue's factory. That's what it is. It's Glue's factory. Powered by LexCorp. All right, but the uh, the stables, as you can see, are uh, completely finished. I put a roof on the thing, got some nice little uh, lighting uh, through the windows up top as well. And as promised, I did put, not flowers on the top actually, but uh, some something on the top. Put some grass and then did a little uh, LexCorp logo right there, a little LC. Uh, so I think that's pretty fun. Oh, oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, so this has been the thing lately. I have been dying like crazy, crazy. Very recently, I was trying to set up a new mine in the mountains because I realized recently that my mine is underneath my base and my base is in the desert. And the desert is great if you're mining for gold, but with the new nether update, you really don't need to mine for gold anymore. And so it's not really great for anything else. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I, I moved over to the mountains. I've got kind of a mountain area right next to the UFO, and I started mining, and in the process, I fell to my death, and then I fell to my death again, and then I fell to my death again, and, and it was awful. And so I kept on having to, at one point, not only did I fall to my death, but I fell to my death, and then when I went to go get my stuff, a creeper blew it, blew, like it was standing on top of it and blew it all up. So I had to get new stuff, and then I, I you know, for different reasons... Off, off camera, I went to go get to a netherite fortress for something, an idea I have for this right here. But in the process, I died several times. And even with my new new stuff, wither skeletons started gathering it and wearing it. So I had kind of the cathartic experience of killing myself in wither form, which was just just weird if I'm being totally honest. Anyway, that's all. It's, it's just, it's been bad. It's been bad. I did get all of my stuff, right? And major gear. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, so here's the deal, though. I, I wanted to show you all that I did finish the uh, the stables, so that that's done. But I got something else. So I, my, my plan, as I mentioned, is to start working on uh, upgrading our war office as well as the, I think, kind of formerly Star Labs. Now, I did notice this. This is kind of cool. So, you know, we, we saw that, that Lex Corp has already kind of input their own super suit here in the war office. I noticed down in Star Labs that that is where our Flash costume has gone, or at least someone has set it up. So perhaps uh, Star Labs Underground is, uh, is a thing for the moment. But regardless, we are going to do something uh, very cool with this space. I think it's going to end up taking me a while. Not planning on doing all of it on stream, but I want to get started today. So yeah, Star Labs is going to need a major upgrade. You can actually see behind me uh, kind of an aspirational goal, which is kind of the top of what I'm planning on building here, especially since, you know, uh, <laughs> the, the land is, is kind of filled up here. We've got between the TV talk building and the CCC building, uh, the only way to go is up, but that is okay. Cause I've got a pretty cool idea for where to take things, but here's the problem. Something has happened since all of this began. I've been hard at work doing the job that I was paid to do, which is to upgrade all of the current, the current public buildings and services, and I intend to continue to do this. However, I have received another build order from LexCorp. Uh, they want me not to upgrade an existing building, but they want to provide a new public service building for a project that they have going on, and they want me to build it. How about that? How about that? I'm not even done with the work that they've originally hired me for, and, and now they're already bringing me on board. But the, oddly enough, there's no money. They didn't, they didn't drop any money on me for this new project. But you know, that, that's okay, because uh, I'm, I'm busy, I'm hard at work, I you know, want to do things for our community here at Central City, and I'm happy to do it. Apparently, I'm not the only one either, because LexCorp has recently hired 
some employees as part of a secret security force to combat the assassins that have been plaguing the realm for months now. Now, of course, if you've seen kind of previous streams or videos, you know that I myself have been assassinated. There have been various uh, successful or unsuccessful assassination attempts by Ra's al Ghul and his League of Assassins. And so LexCorp is ready to combat them. And so they need a place to put all these assassins as they capture them. And that is why they have hired me, yes, me, to build Iron Heights for Central City. Now, this is a huge, monumental task that is going to require maximum security, not to mention design flair. And if there's one thing you know about me, I, I like a little design flair. So I wanted to make sure that the final walk that our captured assassins would go down would be one of dread and treachery, a bridge that would take them to their final resting place, Iron Heights. Okay. It's not my best work. It's not my best work. I get that. I, I built this bridge. See, see the bridge, everybody? See the bridge? See how it's all spiky and everything? And, and that's, that's kind of cool, right? It's a nice bridge. <sighs> it's got, got a sign. Some bars. It's not my best work. And look, I am busy, okay? Look, I am very, very, very busy. I've got that stable that looks like a freaking horse stable from the future. I've got this incredibly new warehouse, which honestly, I had more plans for in terms of things I wanted to do with it. And then I got, you know, Star Labs slash the war office, which is about to have this whole major overhaul. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. I don't have time to build like some sort of super nice, impactful security, uh, secure fortress, Iron Heights prison for Central City. I, I can't do that. I, I just, I don't have the time. And you know, here's the other thing. If LexCorp is going to bring in their own security force, why not have the security force be the ones to design the secure location? That's, that's what I say. And so I think that's what we need to do. I have built the bridge. I have laid out the location. Uh, they can now upgrade this thing as I have upgraded everything else and turn this into the Iron Heights prison that I think will be, need to be required in order to hold uh, the assassins. The, the real question is, we don't even know who the assassins are. Like, nobody knows who the assassins are that are plaguing our town. Nobody knows who Ra's al Ghul is. This is, all, uh, this is all very sus, if I'm being totally honest. It's all very sus. And we know who the king of sus is, don't we, Bell? But I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not accusing anybody. Just saying that that's there. So we need to let the employees of LexCorp know that they need to work on building that prison. Uh, and the big problem is I don't know how to get hold of them. I have no clue. Like, I don't know who on here is a employee of LexCorp's secret security. If I did, then it wouldn't be secret. And so we need to figure out how do you send a message to a secret organization? I, I have no idea. You know, the nice thing about Ra's al Ghul is he at least has a, you know, kind of a messaging system through the you know, the name drop system. I guess one imagines if you needed to send him a message, you just drop it in the name thing. Okay, there we go. LexCorp Security, please build Iron Heights for locking up assassins as you capture them must be secure. It's not the best. We're going to have to figure something out better here because this is not good. Or Lex Luthor, if you are watching, you need to be, well, you know what? I, I say Lex Luthor. I guess board, shadowy board of directors, if y'all are watching, you need to be a little bit more clear with how you want us to communicate because we're getting messages from you, but we don't know how to message each other because nobody knows who's who's what and where. So perhaps there needs to be a meeting of some sort, uh, you know, maybe a team meeting. I think that would be good. So just putting that out there to Lex Luthor and the board of uh, directors. Hey, this is the location, though, for our um, for our security team to get to work on building Iron Heights. I can't wait to see what they do with it. I have developed, hopefully, a nice uh, <laughs> a nice looking bridge. Uh, whether or not they choose to take inspiration from that or take it in a whole different direction is totally up to them. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. So yeah, there we go. In the meantime, I am going to begin work on Star Labs. Seems very, very, very season one flashbackiness. What do you, deja vu? Season one deja vu? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. But this is going to be very different from the Star Labs that we built out before. And you know what? When it's all done, it might not even be Star Labs. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
All right, so safe to say I've done some work, and I'm not the only one who's been working around here, as you can see from Fox's update to his whatever this building is going to be, his, I think, armor shop, maybe? But ta-da! Cadmus. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cadmus Labs, our new war office. Uh, it's, it's interesting, because it's like our research development uh, for Central City, but also kind of the war office, because, you know, we're, we're at war, and we need scientific advancement to uh, give us a leg up on the creepers. And so who better than Cadmus Labs to take up, to kick it up a notch a little bit? Um, as you can see, it's not done yet. I did the exterior here, uh, you know, to see for Cadmus, but I wanted to kind of give it some, you know, some, some height. I think at the moment, I think at the moment this is the tallest building in Central City. I mean, technically, those are just signs, so they don't really count anyway, but uh, the uh, the Central City citizen was pretty uh, irritated, if not fully annoyed, when they noticed that we <laughs> we very quickly took over their, uh, their nice penthouse view. All right, let's go up. We're not done yet. We're not done. So I did the exterior, but I haven't actually done the interior of the lab. This is where... Um, my thought is actually that we're going to kind of continue to build upwards, but, and so, the, I don't know, this might, this might just kind of be built up in stages, but this first portion, I kind of want to be, you know, the, the lab that almost everybody's going to be accessing. Like when we have meetings about kind of updates with how things are going with the creepers, uh, this, this is going to be the place for it. This is going to be the place for it. And so, yeah, I want to do something risky. And I'm not quite sure yet how to pull it off, but I think I think I'm gonna try some things. First things first, though, we kind of need a terminal. It'll end up being a placeholder terminal, if nothing else. So down below, we used to have the the war table. I removed that in order to kind of put that bubble ladder in. So I'm thinking instead here we're gonna have like a view screen. We're gonna kind of bulge out a little bit, but I think that's okay. Ooh, we're out of, is that all the black concrete I had? Okay, not, not a problem. Once again, the concrete store will take one for the team. I've also put, I think it's blue glass. I think it's light blue glass that I put up there. I'm not, not sure if that's gonna end up going with everything else. I was a little nervous that it wouldn't match with the warped wood because um, I know I want to kind of incorporate some more warped wood near the top in some form or fashion. Especially because since this, since Fox is going so white on his concrete and it's kind of next by, this was going to be much more of like, you know, white and gray and kind of that cyan terracotta, give it that kind of futuristic look over all the way around. But now I kind of want to like really kind of incorporate the warped wood more near the top to kind of make sure it's standing out. I want to give it kind of a different kind of feel. And I'd certainly, I love what, I don't know what Fox is doing here, but I love that he's doing it. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess up uh, what he's working on. So we'll figure something out. Okay. So <laughs> view screen, there's not, not, not a whole, whole lot going on there, but it's, it is there. But now I want to work really on the other component, the risky component. I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to explain what it is. All right. So as you can see, we have these green cages. We're kind of testing tubes or something of the like. Now, if you think back to when I was first setting up Mount Zoom, I noted, I noted that there was a that little space with kind of like a holographic yellow kind of force field that I put over it. And I believe I pondered what would it be like to have like some creepers that we kind of sneak in there and kind of keep down in the holding. Well, if Cadmus is here as kind of our, you know, war office and, and research development, you know, I think I think that Cadmus would be doing some experiments on some creepers. Of course, in order that to happen, you have to have a place to put them, which is right here. And then you have to be able to capture them, which I mean, I'm going to be totally honest. I have no idea how to do. I have like no clue how to do that, like without dying or blowing up. And so I'm a little nervous to try this. My thought is that maybe if you like, you use like an invisible potion, maybe they don't like react to you. And then, you know, you just build up a mine cart and you kind of treat it like villagers and then you get them in and then you break the mine cart and then, you know, you're, you're good, but I'm not entirely sure. And ideally I want kind of, whoa, two over here and two over there. So like that's gonna be four of them that we'll have to do. 
So, in fact, you know what? And before I actually do anything more here, given how risky this is, I may, yeah, we might need to see if we can do a little hunting of the creepers ourselves. Which means I'm going to need some minecarts and some potions and all kinds of stuff. A couple of building blocks, too. This should be interesting. Let's let's head back to the base. I should still have plenty of rail there. If not, I know exactly where to get it. I still have my rail going all the way to the villager breeder. That's likely way further away than it needs to be. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> it's all lighting up like a Christmas tree. Look at that. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. I'm about to become a brewmaster. Which makes sense, because that's what this was always supposed to be about. Don't understand how mushrooms work. What happens if I give it bone meal? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That happens. I definitely did not know that would happen. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. I had no clue. I feel like an idiot. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's, that's what you do. You just mine for mushrooms, apparently. Okay, so we need sugarcane, which I have the least productive sugarcane farm of all time. Probably enough to make a few potions. That's, I mean, all we need is really to make a few potions. I think that was it. So sugar, yeah, we got the fermented, fermented eyes, and we got the bottles, and the night vision is already at the place. And then, yeah, we got the brewing stands. Yeah, this should, this should be great. All right, we have our invisibility. Creeper. Oh, creeper. We're gonna fix the way this looks from the back as well. I mean, it's really mostly done for, you know, kind of the, the front view, but still, you know. And I'm thinking that the expansion of Central City needs to kind of start wrapping around this way. I was against the idea that Central City might expand, you know, too close to the Hall of Justice, but now I kind of see it almost like wrapping around it almost like a C, should we need to kind of expand? It needs to kind of be managed. But you know what? With uh, LexCorp here helping us out, this influx of cash, I, for one, welcome our supervillain overlords. They've done a great job so far. And I, the fact that I'm getting paid to make everything look nice has nothing, nothing to do with it. Well, while we wait for the sun to set, we've watched pot <laughs> water boil, and now we are going to wait for literally time to pass. But I think instead I want to do this because this I noticed happening. Did I? Yeah. Thought I'd, I'd, I'd see this real quick because I, I saw I've already actually read this, but the Central City Citizen has put out a new issue uh, talking about the fact that um, Lex Luthor has set his sights on the Twin Cities, citing the uh, re recent criminal activity by the League of Assassins. Lex Corp has started uh, cooperating with the city officials to manage our city. CDHD recently posted a public announcement uh, at the highest elected as the highest elected official in the city that he has authorized LexCorp, a division of the old Luther Corp, to take over management of all city structures, staff, and security. Uh, basically, you know, a nice little overview of that. Also talking about uh, the fact that, you know, um, that the Central City Citizen has a new new uh, location and they are selling some real estate up at the top, little uh, some penthouse suites and that sort of thing. Uh, and then also there's an op-ed by Clark Kent that is, you know, I won't go into it, but suffice to say he's going to be keeping his eye on uh, LexCorp, which makes sense. I didn't, I, you know, I don't know why Clark Kent is all of a sudden popping up. We are Central City, you know, we're not, we're not Metropolis. We're not, uh, we're not, um, you know, Gotham. We're, we're Central City. And I think it's odd that someone like Clark Kent would be taking an interest in, in you know, LexCorp. Now, I mean, if it was Superman, that'd be one thing, but but it's Clark Kent. And Clark Kent's not Superman. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. No. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. I'm not, I'm not smart. This, this is, I did not do this. Okay. Come on, creeper. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Let's see what you got. This is uh, this is nice. We're going to be able to kind of enjoy a little bit of a sunset. Okay, I'm invisible. I am invisible. Although my stuff, I'm wearing my stuff. Does that matter? I don't know if that... Ooh, I don't know if that matters or not. 
I don't know if that matters or not. Do I want to risk it? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I'm totally invisible. I'm the invisible man right now. <gasps> Creeper. Okay. All right, this is the test. This is the test. What are you going to do? Do you see me? You don't see me. <gasps> you don't see me. Look at it. Look at it. What if I run through you? You still don't see me. <gasps> this is great. This is great. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, boom. Yep. Okay. All right, now we got you. Now we got you. Uh, okay. I've got... Got to get you from there over there. Do I need to name you? I think I probably need to name you, don't I? In order to, like, keep you? Oh, and I didn't bring name tags. I'm doing all of this wrong, but at least it's it's working. It's working! It's. I, I mean, I can't even... Yeah, I can't even see myself to, to, like, celebrate here, but... It is It is working. So that's that. That's not nothing. That is quite something. Okay, this was a success... <laughs> this definitely was a successful test. And now I think we need to get better prepared for this situation. Okay, so through the magic of time travel, uh, a, lot's, a lot's been happening. I, I took a break in there, so it, it's no break for you, but it's break for me uh, because I needed to really make sure that I could get things right. And, well, you know, <laughs> there's been a lot going on. People have been working on some things, and you're about to see, actually, as we fly into the city, what everybody's been working on. But the thing is, big projects mean that a lot of people need to sleep. And a lot of people sleeping was keeping me from the creepers. So that was a that was a problem. But right now, nobody else is on. We should be good to go. And yeah, I actually figured this out before Fox put that on top. But this is a white lantern. This is such a cool idea. So the idea here is that he's got a shop for everything that you need if you die. So like a complete replacement of all of your stuff. And it's a white. It's based off of a white lantern. Uh, you know, just a white lantern, which I think is a really kind of cool concept. Uh, it's a little big. It's it's very big. It's kind of, you know, massive. You have to really kind of get back in order to to take it all in. But it is, you know, it's 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 pretty um it's a great concept. And then he also has made a glass shop as well. And I mean, don't throw any stones in there because you got the whole glass house thing going, and I think that's that's pretty cool. So uh, I'll have to check that out later. And then uh, Iron Heights, our, our our message has gotten across to the good folks at LexCorp Security, and they are hard at work at creating the Iron Heights prison that will house uh, the, the criminal uh, League of Assassins as soon as we figure out who they are and figure out a means of capturing them. So that, I, I say me. You know what? I, I shouldn't say that. It's not my job to capture them. I am not a member of the security, and I am just a I am just a build contractor. That is it. I'm a build contractor. I am not employed by LexCorp, and I have been seeing and hearing rumors to the contrary. Uh, I, I have accepted a contract job, and that is it. All right. Let's see. Okay, so I built this whole rail system. And this should be ready to go, and it will deposit the creeper into the container. And my thought is that I, I boat them over to the cart, and then we're good to go. Now the question is, where did I leave that potion? I'm going to need that invisibility potion. It's kind of important, all things considered. Man, I'm super nervous about this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me test this. Let me test it. Okay, we get in the thing. We give it a little nudge. It goes up the thing, and boom. Yep, works perfectly. And I've struck the, structured this too. Uh, if we start off here, it'll be easier to get this one. And then we build the tracks around. In fact, I could probably go ahead and get this ready too. I'm just not connected yet. But yeah, so what we'll do is after we get those two in, then we'll connect these up, and then we'll get the next one, and we should be good. Am I crazy for not having more minecarts? Should I actually, like, have a bunch of minecarts at the ready? I don't know. You know that night time is the right time. Oop. Nope, not you guys. To be with the creepers you love. Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay, um, you know what? I think it might be too dangerous. I might just have to do the the minecart thing. Okay. Uh, 
Who? Okay, I need a. Yeah, go on up there. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yes, yes. That's a good place to go. And I can. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Um, boom, boom, and 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 and. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. How about you go over here? And there. Yes. We did it. We caught our first creeper. Hello. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, 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 don't drop. Oh. I am so not used to having my wings. Or not, 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 not having my wings? Whichever one. That's the one. not good go no 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 that's not good at all that's not good at all uh uh okay okay oh my goodness i am not in a good position for this see if my thing goes off okay okay this is not good this is not good this is making me crazy nervous oh man okay 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 i need this is no, 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 no. <laughs> this is not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> That's what it was. I, I have to get the fence pieces, I guess the um the glass correct before. So I need to actually get him in here and then cap it or at least enclose him and then I can go and break the bottom piece. Oh man, okay. Well, this is making me crazy nervous. And now it's and now it's nighttime. But I can't leave him out like that. Like all it takes is somebody logging in and we've got problems. Like they like somebody logs in, goes up to the TV talk studio. Oh, I guess they're there in the studio, it's fine. But if somebody does accidentally go up to Cadmus right now, then they risk blowing up the entire lab. It's high stakes. High stakes flashcraft. Hi. Uh-huh. There you go. Go, 
almost. And, and <laughs> drop, there we go. <laughs> Wait, why did I do that? That's dumb. I need that. You know what, no I don't. Let me just, anything, anything. Here we go. Am I about to die? Oh, oh. <laughs> there, I'm back. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. There we go. Now you have to understand, I don't know, maybe people do this kind of thing all the time, but th this is a first for me. Trapped creepers. All right. It's a trapper keeper. It's a creeper trapper. <laughs> Yeah, they can't do anything. I can't see them, but I can't see their names, but that's okay. The names are really just to make sure they don't despawn. And look at you guys. You're stuck. I love it. Cadmus is already done. Cadmus is already done for the war effort way more than Star Labs ever did. Way more. What did Star Labs ever do? A bed. But like with funding? With budget? Look at this. Look at what we've done. This is this is amazing. This, you know what I I you know I know there's differencing of opinions as it, as it relates to to LexCorp and you know maybe some shady business deals in Metropolis or otherwise but here in Star City man LexCorp has done nothing but do right by us and Bell has done such a wonderful job of advocating for the people by uh, by authorizing LexCorp to come in and, and handle this management I don't know that Bell really has the authority to do that he did it anyway so you know we might need to talk about reducing some of Bell's authority because he's really just supposed to be Postmaster General but you know, with this one oversight of him allowing LexCorp to come in and really take control of everything. I think, honestly, I think that's pretty good. I think, I think that's pretty good. It's worked out really well. We now have creepers in our, in our war office testing facility, a.k.a. Cadmus Labs. And, um, yeah, this is great. This is so great. Cadmus. Ouch. Ground is broken. And so is my head with a landing like that. But uh, as you can see, Cadmus is coming along. And we now have our creepers, and there's still a ton of work to do, but honestly, that was the most stress-inducing thing I think I've ever done in Minecraft, so I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope y'all are having a uh, great uh, holiday season, and we will see you next time. Goodbye!